Hi, Crafty Nanny Cola here, and um, today I'm going to show you how I made these little uh, snowman ornaments for the tree. And those, these are the bigger size, and they are done on 24 uh, single crochets. And these are the smaller ones, and they're done on 18 single crochets. So I'll show you the snowman in this video, and then I'll do another video on the two different hats, because there's a top hat, and then... This one is the ski hat I made. Very simple and quick. And then how to do the scarf. So what you'll need, I used, uh, I started out by using a size two hook and that made really small uh, snowman. So if you want a really small one, use a size two hook. And then, uh, and then I decided because my hands were getting cramped a lot, I went to a, a size F375. You will need your marker. So you can use a piece of yarn or paper clip, uh, pin, whatever you have. And then white, if you're going to do a white snowman or any color you want for your snowman. Black for the eyes, buttons, and uh, mouth. You'll need a little drop of pink or red for the cheeks. See this one I did pink and this one I did red. And then later we'll uh, do, I'm going to do a red and a green hat because I have little bits left over and then a little bit of orange for the carrot looking nose. So if you want to see how I made them stay tuned. Okay so we're going to start with the magic ring or you can start with the uh, chain two and work everything in the second chain. So if you're doing the magic ring do your loop, chain one and one single crochet and throw in your marker. Oh, by the way, you will also need some stuffing. You obviously want to stuff your snowman. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three. And this one I'm going to work on 18. If you want to go to 24, you can do that. And that's four, five. And remember to work over your tail. Don't let the tail come back here. Otherwise, you won't be able to pull it tight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then pull it a little bit, but don't pull it all the way because it's harder. I find it's harder to do if you um, if you pull it all the way right away. So I don't do that. Okay, now you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So one, and I usually do two before I put my marker in because sometimes the marker gets me mixed up. So two single crochets into the first stitch and two single crochets in each stitch around. And that'll give you 12. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four and five and six and seven eight nine and ten and eleven and 12. And you do not want to um, attach that. Or you do not want to do a slip stitch. So you just continue in, uh, in rounds. So your next round is going to be one single crochet into the first stitch. Replace your marker. And two single crochets in the next stitch. one and then two so it's going to be one two three four five six then you're going to go seven and your next are going to be eight nine so it's going to be on three nine twelve fifteen and eighteen so this is nine ten 
11, 12, 13, and then we're 14, and 15, and 16 in your next one, and 17, and 18. Okay, then you're going to continue on 18 stitches until you have a total of 10 rows. So you're going to do, you have three rows now, you have the 6 row, the 12 row, and the uh, 18 row, and then you will continue it until you have 10 total rows. So you're going to do 7 more, and then you're going to end up with this. So you're going to do 7 more. If you're doing the 24, then you want to do 12 total. So you would do 9 more. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so the next uh, row is going to be forming the neck. So you're going to do one single crochet. Put your marker back in so you know where you started. And then you're going to do a decrease. So a decrease is, I and uh, seeing we're doing amigurumi, you want to go just over the front loop, pull up a loop, to the next front loop, pull up a loop, and go through all three. Because we're just doing a single crochet. Then one single crochet and a decrease. And if you have a hard time doing it in just the front, you can just do it in both. It's not going to make a lot of difference. I just got so used to it that I keep doing it. So, so it's one. And then decrease. And do that all the way around. And you'll end up with 12. Okay, to the last. So that's going to be 12. My last decrease. Okay, now before we go any farther, I am going, I threaded my needle with the black or whatever color buttons you want to, want to make. You can also use real buttons. I did on one. I had some tiny black buttons and I used that on one and that was cute too. So, and then you just want to take, take this and you want to go ahead and kind of put to where your loop is in the back. That's your back. And figure out where your front is. And then you want to come down to the second row and put your needle in there. So about the middle. Now you can do this a couple of ways. I think we need a bigger knot that didn't stay in very well. And I do this beforehand so I don't have to wind all those all those in. So you can do this a, a couple of ways. You can either make X's, so you could, then you would want to go off center a little bit and come across these if you just want to make some, if you want to make X's. Or you can go directly in two, but you want to come to the second row, down to the second row. You can also do a French knot, but I did find that they didn't want to stay in very good doing a French knot. And a French knot is you're just wrapping around many times, and I wrapped it around five times. And then you just go back into the same stitch, but that's really hard to do because it wants to go, go through, seeing we have holes in it. So that's better for um, something that is, uh, you know, made out of cloth rather than this. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I am going to start in the center and I'm just going to go down, push your, so you can see there, and then I'm going to come back up into that. So I'm using two rows and I am just making the buttons and I'm just going to go over it like that. So you can go this way or you can do it the other way too. So you can either do it horizontally or you can do it vertically and make little buttons. And just keep threading and on both sides until you get uh, what looks like a little button.
and then follow down towards your bottom. So go a couple, skip one row, and then do the same thing. I find this is the easiest to do because you're just going into the loops that are already open. So, and then go down two, come back up, then on either side. So approximately four times you're going to stitch that. So you're going to go two in the middle, then you're going to come on this side and come down and then just go right back up right where you started and come down on the other side. Pull that through. Go inside where you started and just tie those threads together. And then that'll all be stuffed inside. So it's it just makes it a little bit better than if you do it afterwards where you have to take all those black uh, in there and then sometimes they stick. Now at this point you also want to have a little bit of fiber fill to stuff. You don't want to stuff it all the way to the top but you do want to start stuffing it. And if you want it to stand, just like the Christmas tree, uh, then you would uh, go ahead and put a little piece of cardboard at the bottom. And the other thing you can do if you want it to stand up is when you start, you can go through the um, back loop only when you start uh, your uh, after your third row. Then go into the back loop only on your fourth row, and then that way it'll make it a... Uh, it'll give you a ridge and then you can do single crochet around that ridge and it'll give you the little ridge like it does on the Christmas tree. So just stuff that a little bit in there. You don't want to get it up into your, into your, um, where you're going to work. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take it and we're going to decrease again. And we are going to decrease, we're going to do one single crochet one decrease all the way around and we will end up with nine stitches. So go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, and we're to the last decrease. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead, now that we've made a little bit of a neck, we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around to give us back our 18. Don't forget to put your stitch marker back in. So go around two single crochets in each and I will meet you at the end. Okay, after you get the two single crochets in each one, then you're going to do four rows. One, two, three, four rows on 18. So go ahead and, and finish that. And then we will be doing the uh, face. Okay, to do the face, you want to go ahead and go up from your buttons find the middle, and then you're going to make an eye on either side of those buttons. Now we still have a couple of rows to do on the top, so um, we have, uh, let's see, 12, 6, two more rows, and then we will be um, using a needle to put the rest together. Um, so we want to go ahead and go right in the first row. So take it like right here and go up. So you're going to want to make your eyes like right in here. Uh, if you want them farther apart, then uh, do them farther apart. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it the way I want it. Okay, right in there. So go ahead and insert your needle. On the inside. And then this time we'll just leave, instead of doing the knot, we'll just leave a, a piece there and then we can just tie them together at the end. Okay, now we're going to come up. To the next one and then we're just going to keep going in that same thing just like we did with the buttons we're just going to make an eye so we're just going to make it kind of like the buttons but we're making it smaller we're just doing going over one on the buttons we went over two rows we're only going over one row here so uh, do uh, one on each side Like 
like that and then just continue and just kind of slant it over until you have a little eye that looks like a little eye. See? And then you can go one more over on the other side. And then take your needle back in and then do the same thing on the other side. So just on the other side of the uh, button. Okay, so I have the needle in the other side, so it's approximately the same uh, amount of, away from the uh, buttons. And then hold that thread in there. Actually, um, let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and let's tie, tie go ahead and tie that off first. That way you won't have uh, anything uh, trying to uh, pull in there. So just go ahead and tie it off on the inside and then, then go back over. So just measure up and it's going to be about, see that's too close. So I'm going to go over to the next and that looks like it's just about right. You can also just go in half and kind of see where it is there. So then do the same thing there. Just go through as many times as it takes to shape a little eye. And if you want to do the um, eyelashes, you can do that too. I'll show you here in a minute how to do that. Okay, if you want to do the little eyelashes, just come from the middle, from here. And then just put in, then just go adjacent with the eye. And then just do it once again, just go right back into that same. stitch that you were just in and just bring it up so that it's an adjacent with this one and you get a little that I'm not going to do it on this one so I'm going to take that back out okay now take your uh, string down to the middle And find your middle, and then go one over. And make your little mouth. So you want to you want to have it over three stitches total. So right, right on the line of the eye. So just before, see how the eye line is there? Okay, so that's just uh, with the eye. So you're going to skip one and go over into the next one. And there's this little mouth and then just take a little bit take a stitch inside to keep it from uh, going until you get over to where you started and then just tie those two together make sure everything is good here before you tie it together that you've got everything tight and nothing is hanging or sitting out and then just tie and you don't need the needle on there anymore so as soon as you get it tied, you can thread your needle with the orange. Okay, so then you want to just find your middle again. And then leave a, a tail inside the uh, snowman. And just go ahead and do a little nose there. Um, put it in a little bit. You want it a little bit to the side, like the mouth. And then you can just do a couple of stitches to look like a little nose, a little carrot nose in there. 
and you can build it up as much as you want. And I think that looks good, so I'm going to tie mine off. And then you will want to thread your um, thread your needle with the pink or the uh, red, whichever you're using for the cheek. Okay, so now I have the uh, pink, and um, I'm going to leave a tail just like I did on the rest of them. A bit of a weird thing going on here. Okay, some people like to do it just under the eye. I like to go just on the side of the mouth like this. I mean, excuse me, on the side of the nose. So you can put them down here if you want. You can put them up here if you want. You can put them wherever you think they look the best. Wherever you like them. And you can just do one stitch. Or you can do several stitches. Just don't pull it tight. Make sure that you have it inside there because you'll be tying it off afterwards. So I'm going to do two here. And one more. And then I'm just going to take a stitch inside again and go over to this other one and tie it off. When you're doing the stitches inside, try to go under all of that uh, inside thread that you already have there so that you don't end up showing it on the outside. And save the rest of that pink for another snowman if you're going to make several. No sense in throwing away it. It's a good way to use up the scraps. So, and then just go ahead and cut all that stuff to about a half inch. Okay, now we can go ahead and uh, stuff some more until we get the snowman the way we want. So just uh, stuff until you get it the way you, you want. As you stuff him, flatten out the bottom and kind of roly-poly him and just keep stuffing. And try to make him a little bit of a fat snowman. Like a real snowball would be. So pack him in there pretty good. It's little, so it's not going to take, you know, a lot anyway. So go ahead and pack him in there. Okay, so I've got pretty much the body stuffed, so you can see inside there. I didn't put a lot in the head yet because it's sometimes that you don't want to get that fiber fill in as you're crocheting because it will um, catch, and boy, if you need to take it out, it makes it really hard to take it out. So try to keep the fiber fill from uh, there. Okay, so we're at 18, so we're going to do um, one stitch and then a decrease all the way around so that we come to 12. And don't forget to put your marker back in. And one stitch and decrease until you get to the end. And we're to the end, my last decrease for 12. And then we're going to uh, start stuffing again. Now we need to start stuffing the head. And at this point, I do take the marker out because we are going to uh, decrease and we're getting really small in there, so it's hard with the uh, marker. So we'll just count. So go ahead and stuff your head as much as you can. Okay, so I've got them stuffed pretty good. You'll need your needle in a minute, so you can keep that nearby. Okay, now we're just going to count, and we're going to decrease every stitch until we have six. So we're going to decrease one, two, 
this is a little trickier, so two. Three, four, five, and our last decrease, six. and six and then just leave a thread here for uh, sewing pull your pull it through so you have it tightened there and then finish any stuffing you need to do to make the head remember you're putting a hat on so stuff it stuff what you can in there and remember you like I said you'll have a hat on the top so you'll be able to take some of that in Push out anywhere where you need, and then take your thread your needle. And go ahead and close up the hole. And I do the same thing. I just go around the, uh, the front loop. So pull your thread over so you know where the next loop is. So it's one, two... Three, four, five, and six, and then just pull that closed, and you have a, a closed top. And there's your little snowman. And then just bury your thread. And you can just do that up there. Like I said, this is all going to be covered up anyways. And if you want, you can bring this thread out the back where um, I have the uh, I have the little hangers up here. And I usually do it the color of the hat, but if you want to do it um, white, so I have the little hangers so that you can put the uh, uh, tree hanging uh, hook in there. So if you want, you can just leave this in here and bring it out in the hat later. I'm not going to do that. I'd probably do it the color of the uh, of the hat. Okay, so there's the snowman, and um, I will, like I said, separate video for the uh, for the hats. So have a wonderful day. Keep yourself safe, and I'll see you in a little bit.